the curriculum zero to three and um i think this is again another big change about development matters and another thing we just got a lot of questions in on so i melt to make sure we kind of addressed it um that band is much larger than it has been before um what is your thinking around that that decision and 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 i suppose in general what we should think of as the curriculum for our, our youngest children okay so the thinking behind that decision is that children's pathways of development particularly in the birth to three phase are very very varied and that's what we should expect so um by having a birth to three phase there's much more emphasis on practitioner professional judgment and knowledge keeping an eye in on the big picture of how those babies and toddlers are doing rather than being expected for example to look at what a baby from birth to 10 months should be learning about number which doesn't seem to me a sensible thing to put in a guidance document so we know that some babies and toddlers are real doers and movers and they're the ones that are kind of climbing and crawling and early to walk and into everything and they they may not be terribly chatty because they're so busy doing things and we know that other babies and toddlers are much more kind of chatty and their language development seems to go a lot faster but they may be much less confident um about the the, the climbing and the running and um beginning to kind of manipulate toys physically but both those groups of children are doing perfectly well and the, it's not helpful if guidance implies that there is a very particular kind of set of things that all children should be doing at all ages you know babies toddlers not really like that but you will be keeping an eye on important things like the toddler that doesn't really seem to be understanding a lot that's said to them and isn't really saying anything much to you and then you're beginning to think okay are we possibly looking at a hearing issue here are we looking at a child who needs a bit more help to kind of support their early communication so um the guidance actually says that children's development is not in a straight line it's not neat it's not orderly it's more like a spider's web than a motorway and that's what i would urge people to think about in the birth to three space um and I would also say to, to people to kind of go back to something I was uh, touching on earlier, that it's not helpful to label a child that say comes into your setting age three, who may not have had some of the play and other experiences that other children in the group have had to sort of label them as being in some way younger in terms of the assessment. What helps much more is look at what they can do, build on what they can do, look at the stuff they haven't experienced and give them those rich experiences they haven't had yet make sure that you really focus on them being confident and fluent and happy to do the things um, at earlier stages of development rather than trying to accelerate them in an undue way uh, to, to, to a place of development where that learning isn't going to be as secure so think about the individual child what they know and can do and how you can help them to make progress and i would say it's extremely unhelpful if you just give children a kind of point score or an age band score which is many months younger than they actually are and just kind of give them that label and nothing actually results from it think about what we want for the children and how we can best support them as individuals 